good everybody? It's your boy Ball Gaming back again with another video and today we got another NBA Live mobile video, alright? Because the uh, game just released worldwide. I decided to start a new account for my fellow Americans out there, alright? So I'm going to tell y'all some tips and tricks for this game because I've been playing this game for actually like the last two months because I, I, I had the soft launch but I just decided to start a new account. So I'm going to tell y'all the tips and tricks, some sniping filters, and yeah, so let's get straight into it. So first of all, in sets, what the sets you don't really want to do right now are the signature series set and the large quick sell sets. And I'm going to tell y'all why. Because they're rigged. They're literally rigged. Like, they, they literally want you to, to get these sets. Don't open these sets, trust me. As y'all can see, in my last video, or my last, second last video, I opened a large quick sell pack opening. I got no one. And I spent a lot of money on that, so please, don't do that. Uh, the gold player trading set, I wouldn't really recommend it, because they're not really giving out elite, elite trophies. But if they are for you, then go ahead and get right into it. All of these sets aren't really that good, except for these team sets. Now, what I'm telling y'all is, if y'all do some research on your own, you, can, you guys can find it. Um, there are some really good gold players, and I'm talking about really good, like Raptors, for instance. You got Cal Lowry, right, and um, uh, Lamarcus Aldridge for the Spurs. Uh, you got Carl Anthony Towns for the Timberwolves. Like, if you do one of these sets, think of it this way: you get 2,500 points. That's basically five of your silver players, or maybe, maybe, or maybe like four of your silver players and one bronze player. And you just need a gold trophy, right? So it's literally gold trophy and four bronze players for a gold player. And you got a chance at Lamarcus Aldridge or for the Spurs, you know? So you might actually get that, all right? Now make sure when award winners comes out, make sure you play that, all right? Because for me, when I start a new account, award winners hasn't come out yet. But this Steph Curry, man, I'm telling you, is OP as hell. So is this Jimmy Butler. I just keep hitting fadeaways with these Jim this Jimmy Butler. All right, guys. So now I'm going to get into some cheap beasts I'm going to tell y'all for early on in the game. And yeah. So, guys, all of these cheap beast players will be below 10K. So the first player we're going to go into is Dennis Schrader. All right. He's below 10K. He's a great card. Um. He might not have the best shooting, but speed, dribbling, and passing, I find really important in this game. Every time you drive, he pretty much makes a tough layup. And like, uh, he always makes it. So it's a really good card to pick up. Uh, I'd say he's around like 5K. So uh, not the best, but he's doable. Next player, guys, for me is probably the best one out of all these cheap beasts. Eric Gordon. Man, he's got 93 pointer. He's got 82 dribbling, 77 speed. You can literally chuck it, chuck a three from anywhere. This guy will make it splash, man. I'm telling y'all. I'd say he goes around 6k or 5.5, but he's such a good player. Makes sh this is a must cop right here. If this is a pair of Jordans, this is a must cop. I right? these are like these are like the 11s. You know what I'm saying? These are must cop. Next up here, guys, we got Darren Collison. He goes around 5k, 5.5k. As you can see here, his stats are all well balanced. He makes for a great point guard slash shooting guard, depending on what lineup you put him in. 78 overall, which is a good boost to your rating. And yeah, man, this guy's a beast. Next up, we're going to go for the rookie here, Devin Booker. I think he dropped 28 points today in the Summer League. But Devin Booker, man, he's a good card. 82 speed, 82 speed pointer. Um, if you're just building a starter team, man, Devin Booker, I would recommend. But if you could try to get that Eric Gordon, it would be better, in my opinion. Next up, we got Space Jam Dunk Zach Levine here. I right? Zach Levine doesn't have the best shooting or the three pointers, but Zach, what Zach Levine does is very interesting, man. If you post up at near the three point line and you hit skill move. He spins off you, and he literally just drives in and dunks it no matter who's in the way. Literally, this card is OP. I swear to God, man. I ha I would have him as my starting point guard. He literally just spins and just dunks it on you. Like, that's all he does. Next up, guys, we got Rodney Hood over here, man. He's 79 overall. He's a well-balanced out card. He makes everything, man. Rodney Hood, he's like, he's like, um, he's like Schrader, man. He makes everything. His stats may not show it, but... You just drive in and he makes everything. Next up here, we got JJ Redick. He goes for around 9K. JJ, we all know he's a great three-point shooter, man. Um, but yeah, bro, chuck it up, man. Imagine if you have JJ Redick, you have like Darren Collison or Zach Levine at point guard that you got like Eric Gordon. 
man, that's going to be a hell of a lineup, man. So make sure you cop JJ Reddick if you have the money to do so. I got some lowers, like 5Ks here, but this is going up a bit. Next up, guys, we got a small forward, Evan Fournier. He's got great stats, in my opinion, man. Look at, man, look at all these offensive stats, all 70 or above. I currently have him on my team right now, and he, he plays out great, man. He's a great player. He can drive. He can shoot. He can do everything, man. Make sure you get Evan Fournier. Next up, guys, Courtney Lee. He's one of the cheap ones if you can't afford a lot of players early on in the game. Courtney Lee, man, he's the same. He's like he's like a Schrader and a Levine he, and a Hood. He makes everything. He literally makes... He, he just drive. Listen, guys. Don't even don't even put your finger on the analog stick. Just drive and then drag it up to shoot. That's all you need to do. These guys make it. I swear on my life they do. Second last one here. We got Ishmael Smith. Probably the fastest gold card. I'm not sure if there's anyone faster. This guy is all on his speed and dribbling and passing, man. It's all about speed, dribbling, passing for this card. You literally just run by everyone, man. And, and do a skill move and just... just crossover or whatever just run by them man i swear this guy just drives to the rim easy money last card here we got brandon knight i have in my lineup as well as you guys can tell from this video i don't have a lot of big man it's mostly point guards or shooting guards and we got a small forward i think fournier right but brandon knight he's a great player he just has well balanced out stats 82 three pointer but the reason I don't have any big man is that for me, they all really perform the same. It's basically around height and that's it, right? In the big man, as long as they can get rebounds, I'm good with that, man. So, yeah. Next, I'm going to show y'all how to start out the game. So, guys, once you guys start out the game, first thing you want to do is play a couple. Just play a couple live events, right? Get your XP up. Because once you level up, you get more coins and you get a stamina rebound. So... And then you can start getting these achievements, man. Like, these achievements, they give you coins. I'm serious. Like, play some season. Play some season games. I'm currently on to the eighth game. Man, these gives you the season veterans collectible. You can get a lead player from that, man. So, make sure you do that. And also, make sure you have a good player on every lineup. Like, see right now, I'm just trying to save coins. But as y'all can see right here, I got a good player on every lineup. Just in case, you know, I need that season veteran collectible and I don't got a player to rely on, you know. This is what I use, man. So now, guys, I'm going to show you all some star uh, sniping filters. You can go ahead on the video a bit if you guys want to see the cheaper sniping filters if you're just starting out the game. First of all, I'm going to do the range from around like 5k to 15k. So the first filter is 81 and above gold players that are worth for 5k. I snipe on this filter quite a bit and it works a lot. You know, I, I sniped up uh, Rajon Rondo for a 50. 150 coins and snipe the Marcus all for 2k and made a ton of profit from that, right? So that's one filter. Now, if you're starting on the game, make sure you follow what I did just then and uh, told y'all to play some season games, play some live events. Once you have a quite a bit of coins, you gotta go for gold players that are 2k or less, all right? You can cop all of these players. Then once you get them, all right, you sell them for 4K. Now, I know there's a lot of people right now, so you can be a bit more specific by pick, choosing random teams, any team you want, and maybe narrowing down the price range, all right? You can narrow it down to, like, let's say, 1999 to 2001 if you just want 2K players or 2001 or 1999 players. You know what I mean? So it would be easier, and if you're, as the more specific you are, the faster you'll get to those players. Next up, guys, you're going to be looking into some silver trophies I believe silver trophies go for around 7k so maybe you can snipe these bad boys for like I don't know 300 or something I'm pretty sure if you're starting out the game this would be a great filter for you but the problem is a ton of people are using this filter so that's a quite a bit of problem but same goes for gold trophies and elite trophies elite trophies actually go for quite a bit because of the signature series pack so elite trophies go for around 10k i believe yeah as you guys can see 10k there's no results for elite trophies man so if you guys can get one for below 10k that'd be a steal but it'll take a long time trophies isn't that good but i'd still recommend it for early on starters now the next one you can do is you can get silver players and you can start bidding on each of them for a certain amount of price and once you found a comfortable bid price like see these ones they're kind of high so i'm not gonna bid on any of them once you do that once you corral five players y'all know what to do put it in the sixth trophy set i 
that's going to help you guys a lot if you put it in the set because potentially in the set you can get an elite player like i said oh sorry seven seven so good but like i said man you're never guaranteed an elite trophy so don't 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 bid on this man if you're feeling lucky do this man but only do this method if you have a large amount of points. Because if you have a small amount of points, you get like six bronze trophies, you're screwed. You're basically screwed. Alright guys, so the last filter of this video is going to be 80 overall gold players for a maximum of 4KI. This filter works very well. Oh, like, look, look at that Carl Anthony Towns, man. If you snipe that, you'd be fortune right now. You make around like 20k. So, yeah, I usually snipe these Ridge Jackson, sell them for like 7,500. But, yeah. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure y'all leave a like. Make sure y'all subscribe. And guess what? The goof is out. Peace.